respond to the assessor at that time. Okay. We're going to try and make it to where each one of you just speaking alone because if we get in a debate, mm -hmm. uh, record's going to be kind of goofy to begin with, and I can't allow that. <laughs> All right. So let's uh, tell us about the property <coughs> at 5100 Ryan Drive. It's in the Froelich Meadows edition. Mm -hmm. It says Oklahoma City, but isn't that Dell City? It's very close to Dell City, but it's still Oklahoma City zip code. So. Okay. Um, it's very close. I found two comparables. One was on the same street at 160000 and one was at one seventy two. When we did our informal hearing, they did lower it to one ninety three. but even the cons the county's using, they only have one at 215 the other two was at 185 and 172. So really, my ar all of my arguments are just based on comps. Okay. And what's the address of those two comps you have? One is 5009 Ryan Drive. That was that uh, 160,000. And then 5405 Embers Drive, E-M-B-E-R-S. Five zero? Five four zero five. Five four zero five, and that was at one seventy two. And that the what was the address of the street? Uh, Embers, E M B E R S. Okay. And both of these, their square footage is seventeen. One is Embers Drive is seventeen eighty four square feet, and Ryan Drive was seventeen thirty nine. So very comparable to ours. What what's your square feet? <coughs> uh, square feet. I guess I didn't have that written down. Nineteen twenty eight. Nine. Thank you. Okay. And was all this, all this presented at the informal hearing? It was. Okay. All right. Uh, what else? Is that all for right now? Yeah, that's all for right now. Okay. We'll hear from the assessor. All right. Um, so, like what she said at the time of the hearing, uh, we did lower her from 200500 to 193. Um, this property is located right in the middle of uh, Southeast 44th and Southeast 59th and Sooner. Um, the two comps she is talking about that she used, um, we actually used um, in our comparables. Um, they're actually comp two and comp four. Um, and based off of the six comps that uh, we pulled, uh, it did justify a lowering, but not anything lower than 193000 uh, At the time of the hearing, the request was for 171500 and based off of comps, uh, that was not reachable. All right. I show... Uh Hundred and seventy one thousand two fifty is what the taxpayers asked. Oh yes, sorry, asking yes. One seventy one two fifty. Last year's value was one seventy one five hundred. Right. Okay. Yes, that's correct. All right. Uh, now the first thing that jumps off the page of me is if uh, the square footage of the subject property is yeah well, one of them is quite a bit more but uh, the other is still there's more square feet I don't know the layout mm -hmm. of the this property but what what's your value per square foot or do you have that number I did not write that on this one okay well, I can do it real quick. Yeah. So if you increase over from uh, 22 to 23, 7%, do you think that's too much of an increase given what the market was? Yes. One ninety three. No, I mean the per square foot. Oh. I think a hundred you know, right at about a hundred bucks a square. Is that my way off or what? I have a hundred and three and then the uh, 
the owner is asking, the owner is at 88.82. Yeah. And the two comps, the first one on mm -hmm. Ryan would be at $92, and then the one on Embers at 98 <coughs> Anything else from the assessor? No, I think that's it. No, nothing further. But I want you to respond to the ninety-two and the ninety-eight dollars a square foot of the two that you're urging as comps. So they're they're worth one's ten dollars more a square foot than what you're asking. And yeah, my square footage is a little bit higher, but I was just going for last year's value. Okay. All right. Okay, so you want no increase over. Okay, gotcha. Okay. Anything else? No. All right. Uh, we'll close. I'm going to close the hearing on BOE number twenty-eight, and I'll open the hearing on BOE number twenty-nine, which is property at twenty-six seventeen Southeast Fiftieth Street in Lumberman's. A number three edition. Uh, looks like the assessor's at 88500 Uh Taxpayers asking for 79000 even. Is that correct? Uh, yes. Okay. Correct. All right. We'll hear from the taxpayer on as to this property. So I have four comps that are right next to the subject property at 75,000, 70,000, 50,000, and 68,500. Um, my addresses for those are 2616 Southeast 51st Street at 75,000. Um, 5112 South Madera Terrace at 50,000. 2529 Southeast 47th Street at 70,000 and 2508 Southeast 47th Street at 68,500. Is this a rental? This is a rental. And I meant to ask that on the mm -hmm. other one. Did you have the rental value on the other one? Um, yes. Do you want me to tell you? Yeah, what was the for each one of them that are rentals, tell us what they rent. Okay. 1695. What is it? 1695. 1695. 16, 16. 16. 1,695. And that's on uh, 5100, Ryan. 850. And the square footage on this one? I don't have my square footage written down. I'm sorry about that. Sure. This one's 1,143 square feet. What is that? 1,143. Okay. So, um, and. Did I give you all the addresses? My 2529 yes. Southeast 47th Street, my square footage was 1122. <coughs> 2508 Southeast 47th, square footage was 1036. 5112 South Madera is 1215. And 2616 was 891, which wasn't very comparable. Yeah, I don't know how they're talking there. All in the same neighborhood. Yeah, they're all in the same neighborhood. I, I try not to go outside the neighborhood or any major crossroads. Of all, of all your comps, are they currently occupied? Um, I'm not sure. Those were just sales that I found on the MLS. So I would assume they're occupied because they're all in the last year. So nothing was in, all of these were in 2022. So I assume if somebody bought it, they're occupied, but I'm really not. Quite okay. sure. All of all these sales, uh, arms length sales, as far as you yes, know? Okay. as far as I know, they're I'm not sheriff sure sales. I don't believe so. Really, I just went on the MLS because I'm an agent and just got it on market. So 
I don't believe so, but I guess I could be wrong. Okay. You know that? Uh, no, that's all. All right. We'll hear from the assessor. Okay. Uh, 2617 Southeast 50th Street is the major streets are Southeast 44th and Bryant. As you see up there, uh, the four comps that she is mentioning, uh, three of them were actually deemed invalid sales. Uh, one was in 2023. One was to settle an estate. And then the other one was a distress sale. Uh, the other, the one other comp uh, that was valid, uh, I did not use in the comp report uh, because the total total of adjustments that would have had to have been made uh, were 41 and 41.8 percent, mm -hmm. uh, which comes out to twenty-eight thousand six hundred fifty-one dollars for an adjustment. So I did not use that as a comp. Therefore, I used uh, six more comparable sales. Um, and they actually supported a median value of 95470 which is actually higher than what we have them on for. Anything else? I, when, I, when you gave that one for 50000 that's when I thought, okay, that might have been, a, even though, um, because that's not the one that was 800 I'm sorry, we were still over here with you. Sorry. Are you? You got that? You're done? Oh, no. No, that's that's it. Okay. I don't really have anything else. Sorry. I no, that's okay. Sorry. She got it. Oh, I mean, the only thing I would say about that is, yeah, probably one of those are distressed, but I would consider our property still just as distressed, too, because it is not renovated, and to get it up to market value, we would have to go in there and pretty much do everything to get it to that value, so. Uh, do you have a renderer in there now? Currently, not at the moment. They got evicted. Have you had? It yeah, we have. That and that's what it, they were at the eight fifty. But currently, there is no renter in there. Okay. How long has it been vacant? It's been a few months. It was probably the beginning of January. So I know this is for twenty twenty two, right? Yeah. So yeah, so it wouldn't really matter oh, okay. for this year. It's but yeah. To January. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, Anything no, else? that's all. And can't really tell us about your comps whether they've been they need renovating. I would assume the ones on the lower end probably need renovating. He said one of them was a distressed property, so I know for a fact that one would need renovating. But as far as the one at seventy five thousand and seventy, not totally. Um, well, he's, he's saying one of your comps was in 2023, which... Yes, which I must have missed. That. Yeah, that's that's okay. I must have missed that it was in 2023. Okay. All right. Which one was it? Um, let me see if I have it on here. Keep up there. I don't think it tells me on the sheets that I printed when it was sold, so they would have to... receiving rent for 785 on this one um, I have comps that have not are all in the same neighborhood don't cross any major roads at 63,000 72,500 and 96,000 um, I the addresses are 2524 Mickey Road at 63,000 and those are 1060 square feet 2316 Doris Avenue, 
72,500 at 913 square feet, and then 4521 Southeast 28th Street at 96,000 at 1048 square feet. Um, this is another one of our rentals that is not fully updated, so I would say that to get in there to bring it to the market value, we would have to go in and do renovations. Did you say what your square footage was? No, I didn't write those down. I apologize about that. <laughs> 1,088. Okay. Okay. Anything else? No, that's all for me. Uh, all right. We're we'll close to hearing on. No, you didn't hear from the assessor. Oh. I mean, yeah. that's what I heard. I just want to hear from the assessor. <laughs> 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 okay. <laughs> <laughs> Church. Yeah. Uh, so the property of 4504 Southeast 21st is located between Southeast 29th and Sunny Lane. Uh, there were three comps provided. However, two of them were invalid. Uh, both were distress cells. The one valid comp is actually uh, comp five in the comp report. And even when I do use those and uh, Five other comps uh, more than supports that value of one hundred one five hundred. Which which one of the valid? Which one? Is uh, yeah, so that's the one on forty five twenty one Southeast Twenty Eighth Street is the valid sale for ninety six thousand. Uh, yeah, they paid ninety six. It's on for ninety seven, but yes, they paid ninety six thousand. What what? When did that happen? Uh, I don't actually yes I do. Uh it sold September second of twenty twenty two. Okay. Anything else? That's all I have. Before I close the hearing on it. <laughs> <laughs> all right, that you'll respond. Uh yeah, nothing further. Good. All right, I'll go ahead and close the hearing now, unless the board has any questions. Uh, on BOE number 30, open up the hearing on BOE number 31, which is the property at 224 Elm in Midwest City, right next to the high school. Literally right next to the high school. Looks like the assessor has valued that property at 106,000 even, and uh, looks like taxpayer uh, wants 93,500. Am I correct? Yes. Okay. All right. Tell us what you want us to know about this property. So we are receiving $950 in rent. Um, I found comps. At seventy-seven thousand, ninety-five thousand, and seventy-seven thousand five hundred, we have had no improvements or renovations uh, to this property, and this rental actually needs quite a bit of work to even get it up to the one hundred and six. Um, Is so the renter in there now? Currently, this one is vacant as well. Okay, how long has it been vacant? Since the beginning of the year. So technically, in twenty twenty-two, okay. there was a renter in it. Gotcha. All right. And that is all for me. Oh, wait. I guess let me tell you the square footage of my houses. I have 7305 Southeast 15th Street at the 95,000 at 725 square feet. Yeah. 415 Russell Road at 77,000 at the 1032 square feet. And then 324 East Steed Drive, um, 77,500 at 768 square feet. And I would need the county to tell me what my square footage okay. is. Russell and Steed at those addresses are uh, a ways away from this particular piece of property. Isn't that correct? 
Yeah, I mean, so mine's right here. I would still say they're in the same neighborhood, though. I mean, one, two, three, four. Yeah, I think they're five in streets the same over. Streets. Yeah. yeah. Um. Yeah, I still considered it the same neighborhood. Okay. Because and yeah, they are kind of right next to each other, but Elm's right here, and then my comps are over here. Mm-hmm. Okay. See anything else? Uh, no, that's all. I show a purchase price in 2020 for 50000 is that right? Yes. What was the square footage of that? The square footage was 864 square feet. What, what does in a house that's 800 square feet? <laughs> Barely anything. <laughs> yeah. It's a picture of it. Yes. Oh. Okay. Oh, okay. All right, well, yeah, there's, how many bedrooms is there? It's, two, are you asking me? Two, two bedrooms, two, yeah. Two, yeah. Two bedroom, one bath. Yeah, that's what I thought. Those are fairly roomy for the 800 square feet, really are. Okay, uh, <laughs> let's see, what do we got? Anything else from taxpayer for right now? Um, no, I will say that when we came back into possession of this property, when the tenant moved out, like all of the, and I don't know if this can, is considered in the value, but all of the trees were overgrown. We literally had to go in there, like do $5,000 worth of just tree removal because it, this property got just super let go. I mean, tenants are responsible of taking care of the property, but these weren't, they were not taken care of. And the house, I just had water damage on the inside. But like I said, I saw that in 2023. So obviously in 2022, they had been living there for a couple years. So okay. just, yeah, they were up there till the end of 2022. Yeah, right. Okay. All right. That's yeah, all we, we can't consider okay. anything beyond January <laughs> okay. Gets Save it for next year. For the yeah, trees in the go. front yard? The no, place. so they grow. So literally the high school's right, like there's the house, the parking lot is the high school. So uh, the fence line, all the trees were growing over and it was hard to tell if it was on this side of the fence or our side of the fence. So we just took care of all of it. Well, maybe the renters were trying to protect themselves. Maybe so. <laughs> uh, okay, uh, anything else? No. All right, we'll hear from the assessor. All right. Um, yeah, on, yep, 224 Elm Street. Uh, this is between uh, South or Southeast 15th and between Air Depot and Midwest Boulevard. Um, Southeast 15th. Yeah. Uh, yeah, like she said, three comps were provided. Um, two were valid and one was an invalid, and I forgot to write why it was invalid on that one. Um, so the two comps that were provided, um, we did not use at the time of the informal hearing uh, based off of they're just needing a lot more adjustments to get it to be comparable. Uh, however, um, once it was to the board, I did run the comps again uh, just to make sure, double check, and it actually still supports a higher value if we use the two comps that were valid. Um, however, uh, with the comps that we did use, it more than supports the 106 that we have have them at right now. Which two of my comps were valid? Yeah, it's in the duck link. Yes. Um, so it was this one. Yeah, uh, 415 Russell and uh, 7305 Southeast 15th. Those are the two valid sales. Yes, you gotta have to turn your head a little bit. Yeah, what's that address on 15? Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, 7305 Southeast 15th Street. Okay. You got that piece of property on the map there. Should be right. This one right here? Yeah. Right here, Russell? It's going to be down, down. Are you talking about the one on 15th? Yeah, on 15th yeah. Street. 7305? Yeah. Right here. 
Okay. And what was the value on that one? You say that was a valid sale? Yes. Uh, I don't remember if I wrote anything. You can scroll for 95. 95 yeah. yeah. Yeah, 95. Okay. All right, anything else? That's it. All right, we'll hear from the um, I guess my only thought was that, I, considering these are valid, I, what was the reasoning there? We couldn't use my two valid sales. The adjustments that would have to be made to, be, to make it comparable to the subject property, mm -hmm. the adjustments to get to that, the percentages were quite a bit higher than the six um, that I pulled originally. Okay. That, that was all. So it would actually make it worse? It actually makes the value go higher, right. yes. If I were to have used the two valid sales that were provided. Okay. All right, anything else? No. From the uh, tax, I bet you have No, sir. All right, we'll hear from tax there. No, nothing. All right. Close the hearing on BOE number. Let's do we have any questions from the board on them? Close the hearing on BOE number 31. Open up the hearing on BOE number 32, which is 3529 Hartsdale Drive in Dell City. Mm -hmm. Um, from the okay, so we, we are receiving rent on this one for nine hundred dollars. Um, even. Yes, even. I have comps at seventy-five thousand at thirty-five twenty-nine Hillside Drive, which is on the next street over, just right around the corner. Um, the square footage is eleven thirty-eight. Uh, 3517 Hartsdale Drive, which is on the same street at 114,000 and square. 37 what? 3517 Hartsdale oh. Drive. Uh, square footage is at 1007 square feet. And then 3528 Hartsdale Drive, also on, it's literally right across the street at 111,000. Um, square footage is 972. Um, I, I put it back at last year's value at 106500 <coughs> Obviously, I know I provided two higher comps. I do just believe that with us not having to do any renovations on this, or with us having to do renovations to get it to the market value, it still should be at the 106500 Currently occupied. Huh, it is, well, currently occupied now, yes. It was occupied last year, it's moved out, turn it back in at the uh, 900 and then just with Dell City too they're the worst just you have to do your Dell City checklist every time a tenant moves out and in and they have a list of stuff to fix on top of the stuff we have to fix so side note I don't know if that helps <laughs> so just the city's requirements or is this a uh, housing authority no this is Dell City's requirements yeah not housing authority oh. They might as well be a housing authority. <laughs> Dell City get is really buckled down compared to anybody else. And that is all for me. Okay. All right. And then I, I didn't mention this. I guess the assessor is valued at one hundred and eighteen thousand, and you're asking one hundred and six thousand five hundred. Correct. Okay. All right, we'll hear from the assessor. All right. <clears throat> 3529 Hartsdale Drive is uh, between Southeast 29th and 44th and in the middle of Bryant and Sunny Lane Road, uh, as you see up there. The uh, square footage, I don't know if it was said, of uh, this home is 1,008 square feet. Uh, the comps that were provided, two were valid and one was invalid, and we did use them in the report. Uh, their comps three and four, and then we had a total of six comps, um, and they supported that value of of one eighteen. Um, and during the hearings as well, uh, the condition was never brought up. Uh, the only things that were provided were the comps. So. Okay. Uh, 
So if there were condition issues on any of these, it was not mentioned at the time of the informal. Gotcha. Okay. <clears throat> Anything else? Do you know which were your two valid comps? Yeah. Um, 3517 Hartsdale Drive okay. and uh, 3528 Hartsdale Drive. Okay. And they're comp uh, three and four in your packet. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Anything else from the assessor? No, that's it. All right. Um, yeah, the, only, the only thing I would have to say is, I mean, on my <laughs> informal protest that I submitted, I did say there has been no renovations done, so the current state would not sell at 118. Well, did you say that at the informal that you could it wouldn't bring the value or did you say that it had not been written? We actually only went through the ones that um, we didn't go through the ones that he didn't lower the value on. I just sent them straight to the board. Okay. Alright. Anything else? Uh, no. Okay. We'll go ahead and close the hearing on BOE number 32. Open up the hearing on BOE number 33, which is the property at 1121 Southwest, Southwest 58th Street in Oklahoma City. The assessor has valued this property at 93000 and taxpayers asked in 81500 Is that right? Yes. Okay. Tell us what you want us to know about this property. So we were receiving rent last year for $1,042. Um, I have three comps at uh, $40,000, $37,000, and $70,000. And I was actually looking, these were the comps that were on the county's website. Um, those were all the comps that I used. It was in the sales when I looked up at the county record. So I was just saying that there has not, let's see, sorry, I'm trying to get my thoughts together. Mm -hmm. Okay, there wasn't really any real reason to bring the value up to 93,500. They had one comp in 2022. Oh, sorry, they had a couple comps that were above 100,000, but there are quite a few that are at 40,000, 37,000, and 70,000. Um, so would you agree you had an invalid sale in 21? Well, I use the county's comps on this one. So uh -huh. from this sheet, when I pull it up, it doesn't, for me, it doesn't say invalid or valid. No, yours. Oh, yeah, but these are what I pulled from the county. Like, all the other ones I had, I pulled from the MLS, but I just went to the county you're not, website. You're not, you're not understanding mm -hmm. me. You bought this property in 2021 oh. for 39.5. That wasn't a balance sale, was it? No, no. Right. All, of our, all of our properties that we buy are cash offers, so I they're see. under market value. Okay. But that wasn't the sale that I used for this. Oh, okay. Yeah. Sorry. All right, anything else? Uh, no, nothing else. All right, we'll hear from the assessor. Okay, uh, 1121 Southwest 58th is located between Western and Southwest 59th. Um, and if you can pull up the document links real quick. Uh, the cells that she was talking about, uh, this is how it was sent. Um, so on the left there, you see the V's and the I's. Well, I went through every single one of those mm -hmm. and deemed them valid or invalid. Um, so off of that, uh, I used three, I was able to use three of them, um, and their comps one, three, and five in your packet. Um, and then the other two I found as well. So we have five comps here, um, that supported that value of 93,000. Uh, and just for the fun of it, I looked at just the three and just the three valid sales from that report also supported the value as well. Okay. I mean, we could go through and you know, all of them were invalid for different reasons. Some were multiple per, uh, purchase properties. 
Um, some of them were distressed. Um, and there was another one, and I forgot to write it down. But there were just several invalid cells okay. in that report. Anything else? So you're, you're, once again, you want to, I'm sorry, oh, for him. I'm oh, no, no, I'm done. Okay. okay. All right, now, <laughs> okay. go ahead. So um, this is another one where you, where you kind of want to freeze to value you. Notwithstanding anything, the way the market ran these last two mm -hmm. years, how, how are you saying don't raise the value? So we have about 75 rental properties. I've only gone after the ones that one we have not renovated okay. and should, I feel, still be at the same. I do know the market is usually always rising. I get it. But sometimes I do feel like the county is raising it way too high. And okay. if, I, if I'm just trying to freeze it a little bit until okay. there are comps that support, it should be 40,000, 50,000 higher. Okay. Um, but I do. I just wanted to point out too. Even like out of, I know he was looking at the comps I provided because I just printed them off the county assessor. But out of the five comps that he used, there was still two at seventy-five thousand, seventy-eight thousand, and eighty-nine thousand, which are all lower than the ninety-three thousand I'm asking for. And there was only two that were higher. So no, you're asking eighty-one five. Oh, sorry, ninety-three thousand is what you have it at. Okay, yeah. I am asking. Okay. <laughs> okay. okay. Then maybe disregard what I just said. But they were still in the seventy thousands. Okay. <laughs> that, I guess that's why we're only allowed to do six a day. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I, I'm used to keep camping it down to three a day. Yeah. Because I mean, there's a lot to consider. Yeah. Really. Probably, and like I said, you can get. And we take it serious. Yeah. You're gonna get mixed up there if you're not careful. But, okay. All right. Anything else? I uh, know that's all for me. Property. Okay. Uh, and I'm gonna close the hearing on BOE number 33. I believe that's the last one on the docket. It is. Uh, Just out of curiosity, did, um, I'm I'm forgetting the man's name. So Jamie Diamond gave his prediction for the inflation not, mm -hmm. and but the guy that's the property guru says the rental market is going to thud down. Did you see that? I have not, but my boss, he is all about adding more rentals to his rental portfolio, so okay. we'll see. Well, they're saying renters are going to get a break because the rentals are, the rental values are, well, the rental rates. Are going to come down. I would say that a lot of our rent rates are very low. Um, oh, you do? The, yeah, out of the seventy-five that we have, you you do know that these people could pay less than this for a mortgage. For a mortgage. But I guess there's always reasons that people aren't able to buy themselves. Yeah, getting the mortgage is a whole lot different. Rent. Yeah. All right. Yeah, and it's uh, ordinarily Oklahoma. Uh, follows by about a year, whatever is going on in the rest mm -hmm. of the country. So, yeah. uh, if renters going to get a break, it's going to be probably next year yeah. before we get that happens. Okay. Uh, all right. Anything else? Nope. Uh, okay. I thank you for your information. We nope. just we're annoyed that people come in here with the rentals and have no clue what the rent is. Oh Seriously. yeah. Seriously. Yeah. So if you if you got more to come, just don't come without the rent. Oh yeah, that was that, that's a disaster. Yeah. We, we had a somebody that had like a billion pieces of property and had no idea what yeah. they were written them for. Mm -hmm. yeah, okay. Not very persuasive, but <laughs> you had a good presentation. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So okay. we've got five for you tomorrow. Yes. Um, and then you submitted ten more to us that yeah. I believe May first and second. Mm -hmm. Correct. Okay. Yeah. Okay. We're doing five a day. Uh, as far as uh, the bulk ones, yes. Um, Who on Ryan the LLC day? will be the same. <laughs> <laughs> because if we did three a day on Ryan LLC, uh, we'd be here till Christmas. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So we'll see you tomorrow. Yes, we'll see you tomorrow. Okay. Okay. All right. Uh, anything else on this? 
particular piece of property, go ahead and close the hearing on BOE 33 if I haven't already. Any questions from the board? So we have comments. Okay. Uh, good presentation. We appreciate being prepared. Thank you. <laughs> was, was a little nervous. <laughs> I don't know. We're mean. Yeah, right. <laughs> uh, okay. All right. Okay. Uh, that does it for this hearing. We don't have any citizens that I see other than uh, taxpayer. Uh, so I'll adjourn. I'll second that. All right. I have a motion and a second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. All right. Okay, we're done. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.